Hello friends, warm greetings from TNV Academy. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about ISO 30130, which talks about travel risk management. So let's begin our session. Organizations have had no choice but to continually adapt over the last few years, especially when it comes to protecting their traveling employees. In simpler times, organizations worried about missing or outdated passports, a rare airline food poisoning incident, weather delays, and turbulence. Today, increased cancel flights, thinning airline staff, closed borders, vaccine testing, and potential quarantining have stressed organizations looking to protect traveling employees. With the word of travel risk management TRM drastically changing in recent years and business travelers facing increased trade, the ISO has released document ISO 31030-2021, Travel Risk Management Guidance for Organizations. ISO 31030 was derived from the ISO 31000 risk management standard and designed to provide organizations with the guidance needed to manage and participate in organizational travel. Before ISO 31030's inspection, there were no universal guidelines for travel risk management TRM. Organizations had to use their best judgment when implementing travel safety policy and procedures, creating gaps in broader pupil risk management efforts. According to ISO standard, for organizations to effectively create a travel risk management strategy, they must be capable of anticipating and assessing trade potential while simultaneously developing frequent and employees' communications for the identified risk. ISO 31030 covers all aspects of corporate travel and is written so that it may be applied to a range of organization contexts, travel requirements, and risk appetites by providing guidance to those looking to create or improve their TRM strategy while ensuring traveling employee safety. The standardization of TRM by the ISO applies to any organization irrespective of sector or size and includes guidance for all levels of corporate travel include authorization planning, policy, travel assessment, transportation, destination, accommodation, and more. By applying this new standard, business and their traveling employees can begin to experience several benefits. So what are the benefits of ISO 31030 for organizations? Duty of care is an organization's responsibility to protect employee health, safety, and well-being during official business at the workplace or off-site. And as employees travel across the globe, organizations must meet their duty of care obligations across multiple jurisdictions and consider the additional risk that comes with traveling employees. Failure to accurately assess these risks can result in legal action against the corporation. By standardizing travel risk management for organizations and the ISO helps create and promote a culture where travel-related risk is formally acknowledged, resourced adequately, and managed effectively. Incorporating ISO 31030 standards benefits your organization's broader people. Risk management strategy by protecting personal, data, intellectual property, and assets, reducing legal and financial exposure, enabling business in high-risk locations, Enhancing your organization's reputation and credibility, leading to a positive effect on competitiveness, staff turnover, and talent acquisition. Improving worker confidence in travel-related health, safety, and security arrangements. Contributing to business continuity capability and organization resilience. Demonstrating the organization's ability to control its travel-related risk effectively and efficiently, possibly lowering insurance premiums, assuring business partners with banks and investors possibly becoming more likely to finance business, enabling the organization to meet customer expectations in terms of the security and stability of their supply chain, increasing general productivity, 
contributing to meeting the sustainable development goals by strengthening the social dimension of sustainability. Even with these benefits, redefining travel risk management policies can be a challenge. Thankfully, some things can help make ISO 31030 compliance and business traveler security more manageable when applied to a broader pupil risk management strategy. So we have now come to the conclusion of this session. For all your questions and queries, we would suggest you to please put them in the comment section of the video and we will be really happy answering them. Till we meet next, it's best versus from TNV Academy. Thank you.